All right. Oh? Hmm, so that ace detective is serious, huh? I see. Oh yeah, uh, there's something I need to apologize to you about. You know, it's part of my job to research particular things. Well, um, I ended up finding out about your criminal record. Hmm. I realize you weren't just some ordinary kid back with my chief, and I did some digging out of curiosity. And I found a ton more than I was expecting. Sorry. So, sorry about that. I have to say though, the ruling made in your case was really odd. Some kind of deal must have gone down behind the scenes to make sure that was the end result. That must have been tough for you to handle. You're just a kid. <laughs> well, just forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. Because of your incident? Exactly. I've made a vow to avenge my partner for... Whoops. Lala-chan, refill. No, it's your turn to tell the truth. You can't go rooting around in the kid's past and expect to keep your own secrets hidden. Wait, don't blame me for that. It doesn't have anything to do with my private business. Hmm. You can trust me. I mean, it's not like I don't trust you. A and hold on a sec, why am I getting treated like the bad guy? Look, you're gonna feel way better talking to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll explode if you keep all that alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. That's true. And I guess this is the fairest course of action for our business partnership, huh? Just don't tell anyone, okay? Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped with photography, Kayo Murakami. We were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is, until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded, so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then one night, I got a voicemail from Kayo saying she'd gotten hold of something big. But that was the last I ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel, and Kayo had gone missing. Holy shit! What was the cause of death? Well, the cause of death is unknown. The authorities couldn't tell whether it was a murder or a suicide. Whoa! As for the killer, the police accused Kayo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. That's impossible, though. She never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. And more importantly, it's pretty damn fucked up to make allegations like that without any evidence. Ichiko-chan. Sorry. The case was closed, but we never found the truth. And Kayo was labeled a professional disgrace. And since we were partners, the company decided it would be best to move me to another department. I'm going to prove Kayo's innocence, though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. Yeah. You're damn right. But thanks to all the info you've been giving me, I should have more time to focus on my investigation. I won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. All right, we're even now. I didn't enjoy it though. You sure about that? It's been ages since I've seen you smile this much. Well, maybe you're right. I haven't felt this alive in a long time. <laughs> okay then, I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing session. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves, lofty ideals in connection with a secret society. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't worry, I'll definitely come up with a better headline before we go to print. Aw, oh, my bond with Oya is growing deeper. Damn, Oya got into the thick of it. Hmm. Still, there's just one thing that bothers me. There's no doubt the chief is on to my investigation. <laughs> Maybe we should keep acting like a couple so we can trick him. How's that sound? Oh, leave the kid alone. Hey, it's getting late. Shouldn't you be heading home by now? <laughs> hey, your story is getting pretty interesting. That's true, yeah. Hey, kid, can we talk? 
I'm sorry about earlier. Really, for me, digging up your records and such without asking, I mean, I don't mind it. Yeah. Thanks. Hearing you say that helps. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leak it to anyone. It's my duty and pride as a journalist to protect my sources at all costs. I'm actually making great progress on my private investigation thanks to you. And I'll be needing your help later too, so I can find out what really happened to Kayo. So yeah, here's to helping each other out. Bye bye Alright, you know, outside of the perving on us kind of thing, oh yeah, starting to grow on me, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's pretend, exactly. <laughs> Alright, festival time! Let's go! The festival seems to be a success. Ah, indeed. Looks great. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Yeah, yeah. It did get famous. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, mm -hmm. Spoko Bayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. Yep. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Oh, that's really smart, Makoto. Yeah. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Very good observation. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? Yep, basically. There's set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Okay. Ryuji's right, yeah. Um, hanging out isn't precisely the focus of the school festival. Uh, um, actually, Makoto, let us, let us, let us be for a little bit here. Futaba is actually making big strides to actually be here for this, so. More importantly, it's possible that both your names have come up during the investigation. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. Yep. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. True. All right. That is true. Now, now, let's leave it at that. Yeah. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <laughs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. The floof immediately disarms the robot. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. Aww. This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Yes, let's do it. All right, this is your first time at our school festival. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good from what I've heard. I know a great one. All right. Follow me. Let's go. This is the place. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Made takoyaki? Yes. New customers. I'll show you all to your seats. Oh my god, let's so, go. It's your classes stand. Of course. It's still yeah. a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. <laughs> well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. <laughs> Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May hey. I take your order? Yes, absolutely. Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? Damn, now Ryuchi's immediately like, I, I expect some high quality maid service here. Ryuji had one encounter with Kawakami and he's like, ah, oh, eh, I'll have you know that I've had exceptional maid service uh, from, from, from like the, the, the teacher of this class. I, I expect at least half of the effort she put in. <laughs> There are a lot of odd flavors. Oh yes, please read all the flavors, Yusuke. Stick to a normal one. I bet they. I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. Yes. All right. Uh, oh. 
All right. What, what are the what are the weird ones? Come on. Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. Kowalski analysis. What the hell is mentai cheese? Oh god. Oh god. This is nasty. I'm sorry. We're out of cod bro. Oh wait, so this is gonna be it's gonna be something even worse than that. Then how about the squid? Squid? Okay. Um, we're currently out catching squid. <laughs> It'll probably take another five or six hours. Wait, you're out literally catching squid right now? <laughs> Live squid? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? This is, this is amazing. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Yeah. Hey, ain't this whole menu just a sham? Yeah, we're going to end up getting uh, omu rice. We're going to end up getting omu rice. It's just going to be egg, ketchup, and rice. That's it. Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. Okay, that's, that's realistic. That's realistic. So then they have all these... Flavorful fun things on the menu, right? And then and then when people ask about them, they're like, oh sorry, we're all out of that. And they just say that to everybody. And then everyone gets funneled down to the one thing that they actually do have. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Ryuji sounds so pissed. He's like, oh, I can see that. <laughs> Ryuji, you're making a scene. <laughs> <laughs> then, what would you recommend with what you have now? Yep, yep. Good job, Haru. Good job. That would be the Russian takoyaki. Russian? How would you make takoyaki Russian? You you dunk, you rinse the rice in vodka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a vodka rice. <laughs> we'll have that, please. <laughs> this will take a little time. Of course. Let's forget about the octopus and get oh back my God. on topic. Oh my god. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. That, mm-hmm, yep. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. The inner machinations of Akechi's mind are an enigma. We won't let that happen. Mm -hmm. Still. It doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Case in point. Oh. Thank you for the wait. Oh. What's that big red thing in the middle? Ooh, it's fresh made. Is that what makes it Russian? Lies. I heard a microwave go off. <laughs> Futaba's like, I know that shit. You grab some stuff at the store and you're just upselling it. Well... It's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. Okay. So, what makes this Thank you. a Russian takoyaki? Yeah. Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? Oh. That sounds quite delicious. That would actually be kind of fun. Well, one of these is special. Oh. Oh. Russian roulette. Oh. I wonder which one. one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so did they inject it with something? Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means. <laughs> what a troll! What a troll maid cafe this is. That's why An wanted to go here. An's like, yeah, yeah. There's so many options on the menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should all have one. Yeah, yeah. Let me know uh, what you think of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Totally. It's like going for the obvious one is manly. <laughs> yes, on appeal to uh, the fragile masculinity of uh, of us three guys here. 
Is that so? It's like you get like plus 10 guts or something if you actually like, you get like, like so much guts, you instantly rank up if you take that, uh, that takoyaki there. I prefer the most beautifully shaped one. <laughs> but all of them are misshapen. Morgana is not necessarily a guy. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Haru! Oh! Sure! I, 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 I don't want you to come to harm, but I, I admire the gumption. Like, actual Giga Chad, yeah. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Yeah, let's see. Do you want to go for the red one? Oh my god. Oh! Mmm, <laughs> I think it'll be spicy. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Ryuji just had like a... Are you stupid? Like, like... The, the amount of like... Wait, I thought I was the dumb one in, in Ryuji's, in Ryuji's voice acting. He's like, wait a minute. Like, bro, leader, I... Honestly, I, I thought I was the stupid one. What, what did you think it was? Like... <laughs> Yes, it's infused with jam, obviously. <laughs> the rare moment of Ryuji questioning someone else's intellect. <laughs> oh, oh! The one's all here. Hey! The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Okay, okay. Mr. Esketchy is here and the music has changed. We're all on edge, hmm. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. Hmm, no surprise. That's because you were sloppy. <laughs> sloppy! <laughs> I love, I love the way everyone's uh, kind of responding to this here. You can very clearly see that Ryuji and, uh, <laughs> Ryuji and Futaba are like, not acknowledging him, both kind of just like, mm, you know, is someone important here? I, I didn't know, you know, whatever. They have the petty energy, you know? But then uh, <laughs> everyone else is kind of just like, yes, hello, we are normal people, hello, yes, mm hmm yep, mm hmm totally, mm hmm <laughs> I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up, so I escaped to where there weren't any people. Hmm. <gasps> I'm going to have one of these. What? Okay. Wait. Oh my god. Yes. 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 But also, wait. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. This is amazing. This is amazing. One. One. You know what's great about this? <laughs> this guy has the audacity to walk up, take our takoyaki. No asking, nothing, no permission, just walks up and just says, I'm going to have one of these. This guy, it, th this, this is going to be pure karma. This is going to be pure fucking karma. Like, whatever this is, it better be something that just absolutely makes him shit himself or something. I, I love that there's so much pointing to Akechi being just like absolutely duplicitous, absolutely an antagonist of some kind. But the idea that he comes over here and almost like flexes on us and just goes, yeah, that's right. I've got you all by the balls. What are you gonna do about it? Watch me as I eat one of your balls. Um. <laughs> okay, now get fucked, Akechi. The special one. <laughs> Let's just call this my performance fee. Oh, you, you, you little bitch. Yes, instant karma. Come on. But... Oh, and An knows what's in it. Come on, An, what is it? It's fine. It's easy for you. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let it happen. Let it happen. <laughs> mm. It's quite the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I catch he just dies. <laughs> <laughs> Akechi's dead. <laughs> we we give him we give him <laughs> we don't give him a mention.
mental shutdown, we give him a rectal shutdown. He just full on shits himself immediately. <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. Oh! Oh, he'd be okay if he nibbled on it, but because he. He. Oh! My throat. Huh! <laughs> Stomach. It's already in his stomach! It burns. Oh my god! Are you okay? Do you need water? What is it, Odd? What is it? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm he, he's trembling! I, I just love uh, spicy, spicy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? Look, his eyes are shut! His whole body is trembling! My man is like... <laughs> <laughs> well then, I'll I'll see you uh, t t tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to continue. I want to just live in this moment. This is oh, this is so good. Oh, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> He's having a mental shutdown. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, there's bathrooms on every floor, Akechi. I, I don't know what your what your issue is here. Oh my god. No, no, take a seat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> walk of shame, walk of shame. <laughs> yes! He even had the well, he's really the measured walk. Together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's oh like my god. Get picked up for some commercial or something. <laughs> but did he truly come to simply check the venue? <sighs> oh my this god. This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I feel ya, Yusuke. I feel ya. I what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. Hell yeah. That a catchy guy. Oh, Futaba? When he got here. Didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? Well, well, I can't, but yeah, wow, wow, wow. Ha <laughs> ha. You're here just no things. Futaba, you're so genius. I mean, he was following us outside so of the, uh, I guess we got the Okumura, um, uh, the Okumura uh, dungeon entrance. Yeah, 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 it's, it's. It's it's totally him, but like Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. But what's his angle? He's gotta have some kind of angle, cause he's 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 too contradictory to be like to be so like mm, ah Seriously, I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective <laughs> gulp down the special takoyaki. Yes, that was amazing. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. Aww. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Huh. I would like to get uh, my rank one uh, confidant uh, started rather quickly with, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Krispy Kreme Donut over here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with a Kachikun again tomorrow, after all. <laughs> deal with him. I have to agree. What will his next move be? All right. Mr. Donut-san, oh. yep. Wait. Uh, Crispy Yusuke's missing. Oh, no. Uh, where'd he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all the festival stalls? Let's head back. Damn! That poor guy's back! Bro, check your posture! Holy shit, that is... Do y'all see that guy walking past? Um, hey! Excuse me, you are Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Uh, huh? Yes. Oh, um, yes. I. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I am a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day. But ever since Ryuji and An first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. 
for you. Oh, Sakamoto-kun and uh, Takamaki-san? Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. <laughs> now teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. Hold on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on here. <laughs> how should I put this? Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize. I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you still permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? Uh, that's not really allowed. <laughs> How about it? How about this? Why not try out my counseling yourself instead? Me? Mm -hmm. Of course, there's no charge. All you'd have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but, uh, there won't be any of that. <laughs> God, I love Yusuke so much! I see. So you were Madarame-san's. It's in the past. How curious. I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh... Well, I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me about them a bit about themselves. Oh, this is so good! Hmm. Hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so that they can improve their lives. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. Ah. However, if you're the one leading them to their conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. But life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes and without them even realizing it. If I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Ah. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, oh. yes. This is wonderful. Before you go, Kitagawa-kun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I. No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see. Then what would you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, one who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. Ah, I see. All right. At any Thank rate, you. I must be going now. So please excuse me. I hope we meet again someday. Oh, that was so good! What a fun little surprise! Well then. Oh, apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the hell were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there. Did you go to his counseling? Yes, it was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I'd like to, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, all right? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? Yep. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is Akechi Kun's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to con concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. Ugh. Well, no night time for me, I guess. We have to stay calm, no matter what he says. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. It's really up to, Makoto to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Photo time! Photo time! This is when we were at the food stand. Oh! Man, even yakisoba looks high class when Haru's eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think that this is my first time having yakisoba from a food stand, though. 
It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It was. It wasn't the instant stuff, but still good. Yeah, I don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us on? Hmm? You got pics of us too, right? How about the ones you took of Crispy's yakisoba with a big red mountain of ginger? Oh, no, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. Okay, here we go. We will now begin today's panel. Okay. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. Hmm. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? He knows everything. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Mm -hmm. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Right. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. My guess is that Akechi, Akechi has like this, this contradiction of definitely being, you know, either the one doing the killing or is actually like in, involved in it and wants to use us in some ways to change someone's heart in addition to being antagonistic towards us or he's just trying to set us up to be, I don't know, completely defeated because because we do end up falling for essentially the trap and that's where the whole first um dungeon thing goes in the very beginning of the game you know with us getting caught but i didn't necessarily mean that all of us got caught that just means that we got caught so it's this it's this weird dynamic where either that was because of a catchy or that was because of Akechi manipulating us in some ways, but it's not its not ultimately what he wants. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. Okay. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Hmm. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Yeah. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? And this is the part where it's the, okay, he obviously knows, he obviously knows that it's us. But the fact that he's coming here specifically shows that he's kind of wanting to parlay, you know? Yeah. Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. Uh, excuse me, this is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mm-hmm. Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? Hmm. Yeah. Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. Hmm. So then this means either because of Akumara's connections, they didn't think that they would have to kill him or trigger a mental shutdown. And thus that means that the Phantom Thieves kind of moved too quickly for them. Or he's really like not thought this through as much as far as like trying to parlay and entreat the Phantom Thieves. Because it feels like it's this kind of situation 
where Akechi is trying to get us to want to open up to him, but we're trying to get him to want to open up to us. So it's like, just kiss, you know, like, like, but yeah. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. Hmm. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Whoa. Whoa. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing. Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... Mm-hmm. You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. Oh. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. Whoa, whoa. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. All right, all right. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi san? That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. Doesn't matter. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. Oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption. But I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Hmm. Your masters demand things of you right now? Would you mind if I step away for about 10 minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. Wow, very, very specific timing. You know what I'll bet it is? Akechi has people watching him that he needs to kind of play around with as well. But he's definitely, he's Definitely the mystery uh, killer, mental shutdowns uh, guy. But the thing is, I think is that he needs to kind of play both sides in order to try and get himself free of this whole thing. That's why he's trying to court us, is that people are starting to get cleaned out of his organization that he's connected with. And if he doesn't move quickly, they'll clean him out too. And he's got just enough of a special kind of connection and role within the organization that he's not, he's not due to be, you know, rinsed of his uh, position and life and everything. But he's trying to get out ahead of it. But in doing so, he's going to end up serving the Phantom Thieves to his masters. Like, it's, it's, it's just, it just really comes down to what his, what his end goal is. Because I... Akechi does not seem like the kind of person that just wants to serve most likely fallible, corrupt, and or not very just people, you know? So. We'll resume the panel in 10 minutes. Yeah. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? <laughs> Is there a room I may use? Those laugh tracks, oh my god. There's the PE faculty office. <laughs> yeah, throw him in Kamoshida's room. Yes. Put him in Kamoshida's room. Yes. I want you to come too. Ah. Uh. There's a matter I want to discuss. Oh shit. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. What do you want to talk about? Bro, it's it's so him. It, this is all... This is... Like, even the setup of this feels so Adachi-like in general. This, this is so... No. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's gotta be shocked. I have video footage, too. 
Oh shit. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too. Yes. Nice. Us too? You as well? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world too. Oh. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. Hmm. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? Hmm. I found out about that world about a month ago. Oh. It had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Huh. Okay. Dude, it's the nav. Right. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. Huh. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. Mm-hmm. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, it's totally him. Holy shit. That's right. So, you admit it then. Yep. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone. I believe that as well. Okay, okay. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure, Akechi. Go with... I'll go with you. For real? <laughs> <laughs> of all the times! Of all the times! Of all the times to rip me out of this tense atmosphere! God damn it! No! Fucking Ryuji! Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Yeah, no, uh, no photos or video footage, though. So convenient that you have it for us and not for this, uh, other person there. Also, I just love, I just love the fact that, like, it, it feels so obvious now thinking about it. But, like, he has the gloves. He literally puts on his hand over his face. Like, ah. Uh, Yes, it's like he was wearing a mask, you know? Mmm. Wow, wow, totally. Uh-huh. Yeah, also, his face? Yeah, you're so sure about Actually, that? when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. Oh, my God. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. Damn, that is a cool look, though. That's a really cool look. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. Mmm. And he missed, of course. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. What do you gain by this, Akechi? Like, this is so blunt and sloppy. This is... I can't die. Yeah. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. Hmm. This guy has a persona too? This cat. Oh. Hey. I swear it just talked. <laughs> Morgana. <laughs> our teammate yeah. taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. <laughs> but it is true that you know things that I don't. Alright, alright. Say. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an MO. Yep. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Yep. Someone else is behind the murders. 
However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. <sighs> They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake. All right. Which is precisely why I yep. want to strike a deal. Mm -hmm. I may be able to save you from this situation. You need me. Mm -hmm. Yes. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Mm. Along with that video I mentioned. Mm. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Yep. Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. Sure, so then... Your, your goal? The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. All right. Yeah. Justice. Hmm. You've heard that Sai San is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? Mm -hmm. The higher ups are concerned only with settling the case. So we should go change Sai's heart. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai Sun. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? They can't. Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Hmm. Sai Sun can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well. She may even make up a confession. Oh damn, this guy's so full of shit, yeah. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Yeah. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. Hmm. And that's why you want our cooperation. That right there, I feel like, is where where the the real heart of Akechi was just shown there. He said, alone, there's nothing I can do to stop the flow of things. And I think that's where I think that's where I think that's where he's at. He's known it was us for a long time. Because of his in, like the way we intrigued him and stuff, he didn't want to just give us up to his higher ups and stuff. So at some point, he came to the realization that we would do more together than alone. The problem is that this still leaves him in the situation where even if he's under like threat of death, Akechi's probably a murderer. Like he's gotta be a really twisted paladin of justice in, in order to really see this as being like the right route unless unless he's seen the future his higher-ups want to bring about and he's like i can't i can't stop what they're doing anymore yeah it is it, crazy yeah yes in return i'll turn a blind eye to what you've done those are my conditions that said I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. That's actually pretty fair. That's that's very, very fair. What should we do about Akechi Sun's proposal? You're demanding a lot. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Oh, cool. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. Nice. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. Hmm. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. Hmm. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. Mm-hmm. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Mm. Hey, 
They're going. I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. What? What? They're just gonna glance past that? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Persona, sure, sure, yeah, sure. All right, all right, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. I had to, I had to go and take a pace around the room for that one. That was, yeah, mm-hmm. So, I truly apologize about this, but I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, huh. Rakugo Research Club will instead be the Rakugo Research Club! Yes, Rakugo! Rakugo! I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. Mm hmm I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. Yeah. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. Yep. We need to give this a lot of thought. It's time for the protagonist to Similar cook. occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Oh, Furthermore, shit. New information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. <sighs> Why did Futaba have something like this? Oh, God. Oh, God. If a calling card was delivered, Shit. we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. Shit. So now, they're gonna send a whole bunch of calling cards out to people around the city to cause mass hysteria. Shit. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. Oh, that's the card we gave her? Oh, 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 okay. Okay. The post okay. Okay. party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Okay. Please join us, everybody. Okay. Post-festival party? I thought this thing was over. Nah. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. <laughs> huh? Oh, hey, yeah. Senpai... Aren't you going to the post-festival party? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was about to head out. Since we've run into each other on our own, why not go together? Sure. People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. Yeah, Yoshi Z, let's go! Aww. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai! Aww. Oh, oh! All right, all right. But before that, we before that. change things up this year. We've got a huge surprise for you all. <laughs> Members of the dance club, come on down. Oh, my God. Oh, it's no one we know. Okay, okay. I thought it was going to be someone we know. Oh, we're gonna dance. Let's bust a move, yeah.
Are we gonna dance, or...? Okay, there we go, there we go, yeah! Sound right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Okay. Got it. I'm in. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here and watch what happens. Okay. Oh, we're going anime. We're going anime. Let's go. Was that just like an advertisement for like the Persona dancing game? Huh. I left the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. Huh. <sighs> that was so exhausting, but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. Yeah, you did. Uh, thank you. Wow, that dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Okay. Want me to walk you? Thank you. I'll be all right, though. The post-festival party was so much fun. Especially with you. See you soon. All right. That was kind of random and fun, but... Huh. Jim's quieted down. Looks like the dance is over. I'll have to head home. Huh. Wait. Do you have any plans after this? All the girls are, bombar um, bar are bombarding me with questions about Akechi-kun. I don't know any of the answers they want, either. Oh, I know. Why don't we go to the post-festival party together? Looks like I've received some messages. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> the post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So I could use a change of pace. How about it? Are you still at school? I wonder what we should do about that deal he offered. Anyway, want to go to the post-festival party together? I feel anxious being alone. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Are you going to the post-festival party? I have to stay at school for work, but... Yo, you want to go to the post-festival party and try to calm down? 
We can't really decide on what Akechi was saying anyways. I'm still pretty pissed though. Well, Mishima's here with me. You should join us. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. <laughs> I'll decide this in a, in, in a couple minutes. Because I need to process all this shit that's happened. This, this is gonna be... This has just been too much. It's too much. Alright, sorry for making you all wait. Ah. Choose. Well, I thought long and hard about it. And I don't think there's really any decision to make. I think it's uh, pretty straightforward, you know? Mm-hmm. Let's go together. Well, if you insist, thanks. I'll be waiting at the gym. I should head to the gym. All right, all right, all right. That was a great performance by the dance club. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Their effort is being ignored, and yet they continue to give it their all. Mm. That's today's youth for you, I guess. <laughs> Already talking about it from the standpoint of being an adult. Like, ah, oh, yes, the youth. Mm. You're quite dignified. Uh, what? <laughs> anyway, about what Akechi-kun said earlier. Yeah. Want to go someplace where we can be alone? Huh? There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh Enjoy shoot! The post festival party. Just stop by the students' association room when you're done. Oh, oh. All right. Oh. oh. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Oh. I'll just have to pick someone then. How about the good sir over there? Unfortunately, that's me. Wait, what? Uh, I'll pass, yeah. Now, now, you're not shy, are you? No, what? He's either a carefree spirit who does as he pleases, or an airhead who's oblivious to the situation. Are you kidding me? I should go see Kawakami. All right. Now that the audience is warmed up. Yep, run. Let's move on to our next participant. Good. Okay. Okay. Woo! Quick. Woo! We had to run. That's why. You know how Akechi-kun was talking about the true identity of the Phantom Thieves? Yeah. Well, let me know if you're in any trouble, okay? Oh, I'll be yeah. I'll to help you. That's reassuring. You're the ideal maid. No, no, no. Just that's reassuring. Yeah. Well, all I can really do is listen to your problems. Oh. No matter what's going on around you, I'll always be on your side. I know I always end up depending on you because you're so reliable. But depend on me sometimes, all right? How about a massage? Oh, wait, 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 chat. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? These are both really good. Lap, lap. Okay, okay. No, we're at school, remember? Oh. It's not exactly a substitute, but I can give you this. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is such a video game. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Just, I, I got you some food. What is this? How is this embarrassing? What's embarrassing about this? Yeah, this makes me happy. That's a relief. All right, I'm going back to work. Oh, and about what you just asked me to do? Oh. I'm pretty okay with it, as long as we're not at school. Hmm. Get home safely. Okay. Okay. All right, that door has officially been opened. Oh boy. Welcome home. Hey, Futaba. somewhere during the festival, huh? 
I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Yeah, sorry we abandoned you. You, you've been doing so good though, but Utama? still. What are you doing here in front of the store? Oh, yeah, we gotta go have a talk with Dad, don't we? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Oh Not shit. Just catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. Oh no. We're gonna have to have a talk with Dad, aren't we? Oh. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. Ah, uh, yes, my cone has spoken. Yes, mm hmm. No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. Ah, yes, it's like they have freedom of speech or something. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, oh boy. This is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind oh. the promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But sir... I had high expectations for you, but it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now, even before the police spared us the staff for it. Mm -hmm. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. I want a desk that I can slam fervently. That's what you want, no. isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to uh. change. We can't let this case carry over into their <sighs> term. Well, there it is. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Well. Oh. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? Yeah. I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Oh, 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 yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Yeah, that face. <laughs> We're home. Oh, shit. Let's go. Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. Here we go. <gasps> This is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Oh no, Sojuro's been online! You went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. Oh, his voice! He's scared! He's scared! Sojuro! I love that his face looks upset here, but like, you could hear it in his voice and it's just like, he's just worried about her! So, what is this? Yeah. Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Yeah. Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Oh. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Oh. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's. Yeah, yeah. I'll explain everything. I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. No, I know, I know. I'll get right to the point. Oh. Is this a real one? Did they 
trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> oh. How about it? Ever since mom died, I yeah. there was no exit. Oh. Oh, 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 fuck my heart, I guess. All right. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. Ugh. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Oh. Futaba. Here, sit down. Yeah, yeah. I can at least listen to what you have to say. Maud, yeah, yeah. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. Oh. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? <sighs> Hawkins' uh, research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. Still. Uh, yeah, the voice act is so good. What did you notice? Yeah. When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. All right. At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. Sure, that's very reasonable, yeah. As I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow. <laughs> I was like, wow, Sotro, you're actually pretty smart. <laughs> I'm still your guardian, you know. <laughs> I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. No. <laughs> but to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. Yeah. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. Oh. It's around that time that I got to know her. Oh. Okay. She said something odd when we were out drinking. That one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Oh, shit. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, uh -huh. I feel like I let her down. Yeah. Oh. There's something oh, you're so I drill. Ask you. Yeah. Yeah. You, we'll tell you. We'll tell Judging you. From your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Mm -hmm. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The yep. kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? Keep going, Sojuro, yep. And then, there's Futaba. Yeah. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? Why would we ever lie to him? No, sorry for keeping quiet. You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? Oh. That's not true. Yeah. I asked them. Yeah. That's why he saved me. He stole my heart. <laughs> Asked? Stole? Uh, um. Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves. He's actually one of them. Yeah. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? No. I'm a Phantom Thief. Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for <sighs> crying out loud. Sojiro, 
Uh, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Frutaba's involved too. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> this voice act is so good. I, I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Yeah. Wait, it killed? Yep. She was killed. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal. Yeah. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro. Oh. When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some <laughs> old guy running a cafe. Uh. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. Uh. Guys! Uh. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. <laughs> yeah. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, the one who killed mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Yeah. Don't worry. Even if you are the real phantom thieves, yeah, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. We're family, after all. I mean, who would believe such a story? You'd be surprised. Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the phantom thieves. Also true, but... Let me just say one thing, though. Yeah, yeah. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Oh. What do you mean? Don't you get it? If by chance you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, yeah, then yeah. they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? Yeah, good, good. We're done talking about this. Come Ugh. on, time to eat. Yeah. All that yelling's <laughs> gotten me hungry. Oh. Uh, okay. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should uh. tell the others about what just happened. Uh, I'm tired. <sighs> I know, me too. <laughs> I just yawned. I literally just yawned after all that. Uh. Uh. Oh, that was rough. What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding. Hey! Hey! Where's the let Ryuji say fuck crowd? He said it! Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Kurispi was not okay. I had a feeling that Boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think that in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean, how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes. She was killed by mental shutdown, the same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second, though. Didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? A government official. Ain't you letting your imagination run a wild a bit? But it would make sense. Wait a sec. If you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. That's fair. That's fair. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. Mm. 
We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives. Wow! And have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Reward them how much? Is that 3,000 the, the bounty? Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. Holy shit! So all of our rank 10s are turning down 30 million yen. Oh my god. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen. <laughs> That's insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the phantom thieves. True. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Yeah. Why did this happen? Told you we'd go witch hunt. There it is. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. This isn't about me. Well, how do I put this? Oof. I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just oh. don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. Oh. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Yeah. Did you So much conehead. <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. Hmm. With this, the phantom thieves have become public enemy number one. Okay. <laughs> Exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. All right, what's up? Yo, you see the news? I had braced myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure we're going to get away with this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do any do won't do us any good though. Let's talk more in person. All right. We're wanted now. Yeah. And the reward's 30 million yen? <laughs> what is this, a comic book? <laughs> what is this, a fucking anime? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. Uh -huh. Yeah. They're finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Yeah. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. <sighs> yep. Yeah. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Yeah. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. Yeah. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. Yeah. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Oh, yeah. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. Oh. What? So this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. Oh, uh, yeah, no, this makes sense. Yep. Yep. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. 
all I could think about was my fiance. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly. No, it's okay. This is just this is just the kind of stuff that makes sense to happen at this at this point is is infighting, yeah. Haru. It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Yeah. Damn it! This is bullshit! God fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Ryuji! Ryuji self-censoring! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone. Oh, it helps him. That it, he is someone. Hey. What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? We lost sight of our goal. Yep, we followed the crowd. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Yep. Agreed. Yep. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Go off, Yusuke. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That really is it. Mm-hmm. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot. I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults. To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. This is good. This is good that they're going through this, yeah. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Hmm. Damn it. I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. Of Ugh. course I want to do something about this. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Yep, yep. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? You could, you could, yep. I mean, things might get worse for everyone. The really crazy thing about the way this is set up is that even if they ended their career as Phantom Thieves right now, they'll just keep triggering mental shutdowns and just blame them on the Phantom Thieves, you know? It's actually better for them if the Phantom Thieves never really get caught. Hey, what should we do? Let's turn the tables. Let's do it. Yeah. If Psy can slam tables, then we can turn them, bitches! Let's go! Let's go! Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Okay. Absolutely not like this. Okay. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. All right. Yeah. Fade to black. Yep, that's the best way to decide how. Just don't show it. Hey, uh, it's me. Hey. Um, about me yelling earlier. Yeah, I really wanted to say fuck, but there were a lot of girls present. Being framed and the added bounty. It all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. It's okay, Ryuji. Don't mind, don't mind. No, I know how you, you feel. Too? Yeah. It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. Oh, good, Ryuji. I yeah. I a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It right. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess all went straight to my head. Oh, he's such a good guy. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shit bags, but I must be the shittiest of shit bags. I can't even joke about it. Things will turn around. No, you going to give up? <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Yeah. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, 
I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. Yeah. See ya. Good shit, Ryuji. That was awesome. All right, who's it now? I got a message from Akechi-kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this, too. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're going to overcome this, together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace to anymore. Let's go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. Yeah. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Oh. Okay, okay. So I'm guessing if we get better protein, that max HP increase will be better. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want <sighs> in the name of justice cannot be left alone. Damn brat! And <sighs> Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. Well... I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's uh. problematic as a member of society, you know. <laughs> Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. Wow. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. Yep. And that is how populism works. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? Yeah. That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around. Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. Mm -hmm. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it. Yep. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. Mm -hmm. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Hmm. Huh? Really? Hmm. Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? <laughs> no, I'm saying I would do such a thing, Ryuji. I'm one of the people around her. God. It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! Yep, he's, uh... He's got him. He's got him. My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So wow. That's why. The truth will be covered up, and an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. 
I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. What ethics? What ethics? I I I can't wait. I can't wait for Akechi's mask to come off. I I need to see what's going on in that in that in that fucking fucking head of yours. Like I mean I guess I can understand how you feel. Like and changing Sai San's heart will be to protect her as well. He's so so in on this. How do you mean? How does he have any Yeah, he's the Wow, it all comes back to the the beginning. The uh the 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 justice arcana uh person in this game is going to be real interesting. Real interesting. If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. Mm. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? <sighs> Poor Makoto, look at her face, yeah, she's terrified. Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? <laughs> My hands have been stained with blood for a long time now. It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai San's heart. Oh yeah, what's that? She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. <laughs> oh, 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 the, the voice acting for that. That was. Uh, uh, uh. Can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. I. What do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? Yeah. It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. Mm -hmm. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Yeah. Because of sickening human beings. Uh, okay, okay. So, so, uh, Akechi, um, do you value human life? Because that's the kind of talk of someone that has no trouble killing people. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. Oh, oh, oh well, okay, yep, mm-hmm. He's not driven by justice at all. He's driven by, by hatred. Did you feel contempt for Kamashita? Fair, fair. The thing that's, the thing that's weird about this, though, He's not really defining um, specific people in that regard. He just is saying such people. He's lumped the entire category of people that are, like his worldview is very black and white. By, by bringing this up, it's the, it's the kind of thing that shows if he was given the, well, if he was given a gun and told you have, you know, three bullets, you can kill any three people in the world you want. This guy would already have his list. He wouldn't have to think much about it at all. He would just do it. He's the kind of person that Light Yagami was at the very beginning of Death Note, where he has a list, and if he gets given the book that just says, I can kill as many people as I want, he just goes, wonderful, cool, I'll do it. And he would just start, like, actually just writing hundreds and hundreds of people into the book. I don't know if you guys remember this, because I don't know what the last time you guys was you saw Death Note, but do you remember in the first episode how Light justifies how quickly he ends up killing not just like a couple people who are doing things that he saw, but he just goes off. Like, I, if I, I believe he ends up killing like 
hundreds of people in a very short period of time. Yeah, this world is rotten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like 300. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The kind of talk like this is the kind of thing where I think most people don't have contempt for an impersonal group of people. They usually have contempt for that one or two people that wronged them or a person that they know. You know what I mean? That's kind of what Kamoshida was. We had such contempt for him because we saw what he did. We experienced what he did. The people that we know, knew, love, and cared about experienced what he did. When you start to generalize, you get into some really, really screwed up territory because obviously there are some people that are just flat out evil. Like, I don't think anybody here disagrees about the idea that there are people out there that do such horrible things that just calling it evil is, that's about as simple as it gets, but it's, it's being nice. It's being nice just by calling it evil. Yeah, 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 exactly. Hating someone is normal. Hating people on a large scale measured in demographics, that gets messy. Yeah, and that's basically what Akechi is doing, is he has a uh, disdain for human beings. And that's why I, I generally tend to not really get along with or or even really do anything but try to counteract the idea that a lot of people, and I've seen this actually happen a lot more recently, where just people just generally have this um, contempt for human beings. Losing faith in humanity. Yeah, exactly. But there's a difference between having lost faith versus having contempt. You know, you could give up on human beings where you're like, okay, I'm just not going to have relationships and stuff. I'm going to end up having, you know, myself cut off from the, that type of interaction. <laughs> Living as a hermit versus wanting to wipe people out. Yeah, it, it's the kind of shit that turns people into the uh, kinds of people where they end up uh, agreeing with things like xenophobia and racism and... Uh, you know, oh, this, this group is responsible for my problems, the world's problems. The world would be a whole lot better if groups or these types of people just didn't exist or were all killed. And the thing is, is that like, I think people make so many excuses in their own minds for thinking that way. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, like actually think about it. Like, think about it. Like this we are seeing right now a person that basically has rationalized their contempt for human beings as being like, well, that is what fuels me. It drives my sense of justice. And he can say this probably with a little bit of a little bit of deception involved here. But I'm 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 very nervous to hear how um, hear how these kids respond, because they're obviously not thinking about necessarily the deeper root problems of the things of what he's saying here but yeah yeah but all right let's continue it isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal mm. it's simply an absurd grudge and extremely personal wow a grudge that's extremely personal when we went into the um, the hot bath sauna place and stuff like that, did he have any scars or anything like that? Did he have any signs of like physical abuse or anything like that? No? Okay. I would just say that the thing that puts Akechi into the most understanding light is that he has been or is being abused then. Like that... That's what this that's what this kind of comes off to me as. Dude. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ryuji even recognizes that kind of like that. Oh, yeah. Shit. We do know that he was in the foster system, right? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But that's why I thought that, you know, it was going to be a physical thing. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? You think? Yeah. I can't really explain it, but I guess it's how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Hmm. Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Huh. We will. 
Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. Hmm. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I never brought it up until now. Mm -hmm. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is... Yeah, to change Sai's heart, yeah. Because I wanted to yeah. change my sister's heart. Yeah. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. Yeah. I remember we brought this up, like, long, long, long time ago. And it, it totally makes sense that it wouldn't come up really until now. But there we go. All right. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Nice. Why didn't you tell us? Nice. It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Hmm. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. <laughs> I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Will you tell your sister about this? <laughs> of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. What's today? Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Hmm. Interesting. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Yeah, this is about her sister. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Here we go. Here we go. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? Mm -hmm. It can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. Right. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's not all. Hmm? <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? What are you talking about? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Whoa. Okay. Hey. Okay. You need to keep your focus. It seems you're completely worn out. Uh huh. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? Justice wins in the end. Hell yeah. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man oh. told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. Mm -hmm. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Yep. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Yep. Sai is slowly starting to accept the truth. Bond with Sai is growing deeper. Cool. I can't wait for her to randomly get, like, some kind of ability. 
for being with our rank no. up. Yeah. I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Yeah. Tell me everything. Okay. Now we're going to do that part of the story. Okay. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Okay. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. All right. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. <laughs> a girl shouldn't say things like that. You tell her too. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Don't fall for it. <laughs> <clears throat> also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Ah! Same as always. <laughs> Pull his whiskers. Let me finish first. Oh my gosh. There's something else we want you to look into. What does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, 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 okay. Is it cooking time? Almost. I'm gonna cook so fucking hard before we end this stream. Ah, oh, just a normal day at school. Okay. Where are we meeting today? Oh, right. We were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Where's that? Hint. The government office district. Kasumi Gasaki. Indeed. Well, I've heard of that place. Never been, though. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa, just looking at the map is impressive. The police department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office, and Public Security. The Diet Building is right near there too. For real? What kind of scary place are we going to? It won't get caught, right? According to Akechi-kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So we're just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be heading into a lion's den. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? No. I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. That is when uh, the the time ends, November twentieth. So that makes sense. Okay. For real. Then that means our time limit is November twentieth. Mm -hmm. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the twentieth. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. Okay. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. We're kind of colorful crowd, yeah. <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? What? What? This is the model I wanted. You're so lucky. <gasps> Futaba, what are you doing? Oh, Futaba, what are you doing? No. I'm so sorry. I'm Futaba's doing oh, something. Actually, uh, well. No, 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 no. Futaba's doing something. There's something else we wanted you to look into. Oh, Futaba, Futaba. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Futaba's being sussy, yeah. It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> this is a lot of time that she's having with his phone. 
then. I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. <laughs> She's praising you, I believe. <laughs> then shall we get started? Uh-huh. Yeah. We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is. Huh. Akechi's either kind of, like, slow or really confident. Like, I mean, extremely confident. I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like sai -san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? No. Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Mm hmm Gambling, then. How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. What else is there? It must be a casino. <sighs> Whoa. I definitely see Sai San in Nice. Good job. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. All right. Oh, we anime now. Let's go. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. We spoke! Holy shit. Holy shit. That is huge. The courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Mm-hmm. Isn't that... The police station, yes. Hmm, yeah. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered <coughs> threats or hostiles yet. Hmm. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Okay. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. <coughs> the police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? Yeah. This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Hmm. Code name? We'll call him Avenger. Because of the big A on his fucking suitcase. Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. <laughs> Little bitch boy! Yeah! <laughs> Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? Yeah. What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. This bitch! How is he so damn cocky? Does he actually think? Like, what it? What did it? You, it, it oh, oh, Karasu! Not only does that, is that Raven, which, oh, we got a black bird, you know? But then also, also, what, what other Japanese word does that sound kind of close to, you know? You know? You know? Korose? 
You know, just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your clothes all black or something? <laughs> the reverse, actually. If our codes oh. are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Oh shit! Really? Harasu. He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. It got even better. A murder of crows. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. The loathsome dung eater. The crazed caca consumer. Oh. This is business as usual. First off, we'll need to find an infiltration route. Okay. Okay. Looks like we'll be able to sneak in from here. Oh. This means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Okay. Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? That is that is quite the getup. Wow. It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. Huh. No. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Hmm. I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. <laughs> that is All like, right. The people in here look completely normal. Yep, this is the spot. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? No. In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. Mm hmm. But considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. Yeah. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. All right. Is this what you have to go through every time? Yep. That's right. Hmm. This is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline right. for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card, as always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? <laughs> I love how it's kind of like he's a fanboy of ours, you know? My apologies. Well then. Let's go. Cool. I feel so yes. nervous. Yes. Well then, let us begin by search securing our route. Okay. Look at us. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. Oh. She Damn. See us? Okay. You're after the treasure, are you not? Oh shit, her outfit though. Come on down, and I will tell you where it is. Okay. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. So you've come. Whoa. Whoa. She looks. Wow. The treasure is located on the manager's floor at the highest point of this building. Huh. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. This is so different. Okay. 
Whoa. Damn it! Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. Okay. Let us get after her, Joker. It's somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Hmm. Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak. Just give me it straight. <laughs> Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Hmm. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! Yep. As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Hmm. Here it comes! Oh, an Ose, okay. Don't need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you after all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have high expectations. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, JoJo pose on them. Okay. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry. You can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood. Okay. Persona. Robin Hood. Come. Go down. Wow. Persona. You got lucky. Oh damn. Persona! You're mine. So be Persona! No holds barred! Easy. Hmm. You're not so bad. And I am capable of much more. Now then, let us deal with the shadows quickly. Wait. Doesn't it sound like we're gonna get ambushed based on what we heard earlier? You're right. I agree. I'd like to deal with them as quick as we can. But now that we have an infiltration route, I'd suggest we return for now and prepare. Very well. I trust your experience and judgment. Let us do that. Okay, cool. Oh, he's in the group call now. Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will need to explain the steps we take, though. That is unnecessary. First, we secure an infiltration route, then send the calling card, correct? In doing so, the core of the ruler's distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. By taking that core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps will be something along those lines. A plus! It is easy as it sounds. Don't underestimate this shit. I am not underestimating anything, I assure you. By the way, Nijima-san's shadow seemed really confident. Yes, there's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well. You will let me know when you enter the palace, yes? Yeah, of course. Perfect. I will be available at any time you need me. That's enough for now. Let's prepare well for the coming task. Ah, yes. My apologies for somewhat derailing this conversation. We will be counting on you, Akechi. Failure is not an option here. Yes, I'll do my best to live up to all of your expectations. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. Okay. Hell yeah. Red Eagle is being crushed after Black Falcon's shocking betrayal. He's not the only traitor. Revive and fight, Phoenix Rangers. Next episode, you again, Hawk. 
The time has finally come. No matter what happens, we have to change her heart. All right, don't get too hasty. Yes, I understand. We may all have our own unique way of doing things, but we should just proceed forward as usual. As usual? I'm mostly telling myself that. I'm honestly not sure I'll be able to remain calm this time. That's why I ask that you lend me your help. Hey! There's no need to get too worked up about this, right? Take as much time as you need to get ready. Anything goes as long as it helps out our mission. You have our trust. You're our leader, after all. Crispy Kun? What seems to be the matter? Do you need something from the roof? Yeah. I'm authorized to use the back entrance to the school. Come on, we can go in that way. All right, floof time. Hi. Crispy Kun, have you decided on any plans for today? Let's hang out. Huh? At a time like this? Is this perhaps part of your grand infiltration strategy? Yes. It's a secret. <laughs> you make it sound like it's really important. I suppose relaxation is pretty vital at times like this. Hey. In that case, I'd like to use this opportunity to bring my most recent harvest to Sakura-san. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with Haru. Okay. I'd like to stop by LeBlanc today. Could you join me? Absolutely. I'm so glad. Great. Let us go then. Hello, Sakura-san. I'm sorry for asking this of you. All right. It's all good. Not like I have customers to deal with. We've got veggies. <laughs> so, this is what you grew? Yeah, they grow. <laughs> yes. I'd like an honest opinion from a culinary professional. Oh, let me see. To be honest, both the tastes and appearance are the opposite of what I'd call market grade. Damn! I see. But it's impressive you managed to grow anything at all up on a rooftop of all places. Not great vegetables. No. Pretty uh, average vegetables, all things considered. I'm honored to hear you say that. You know, I can't say it tasted good, but it was actually somewhat refreshing. Hmm. Kind of like how you feel good after taking bitter medicine. <laughs> I first came across the plant in my house. Okay. It's possible that it's an experimental breed created for use at Okumura Foods. Hmm. Thank you very much for the input, Sakura-san. I'll take note of that. Yeah, we could change out the seeds, you know. Haru's vegetables have a bitterness to them, but also exude a strong energy. He's right. That was the same thought I had. I think I understand what Sakura-san meant when he said they were refreshing. Okay. The sun-bathed vegetables seem to fill me with energy. They may prove useful during palace forays. Ooh, special consumables. I'm so happy. I didn't expect this hobby of mine to provide value to the Phantom Thieves. It's gonna be exactly like uh, P4's vegetables, nice. This is actually the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at. Sounds like hard work. Thank you for worrying about me, but I find the work relaxing. Hey, um, do you think you could help me out again sometime? Like you did today? Absolutely. It's a deal. <laughs> We're like real phantom thieves. Oh. Okay, I'll do my best from now on. <laughs> I'm gonna break this sweet girl's heart too. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Haru seems a little more enthusiastic than before. All right. How did you get even the floof to join you? It seems you were probing into a certain conglomerate. There's the possibility you even infiltrated their company building. Perhaps some sort of connection? <laughs> Tell me about this person. They were the greatest of vegetables. a new vow. Mm. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break With the birth of the captivity. Empress. With the birth of the Empress persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. 
Cultivation allows you to grow vegetables with Haru on the Shujin Academy rooftop. All right. Hell yeah. Growing vegetables with Haru. You can ask Haru, who has an incredible green thumb, to grow vegetables for you. Haru's vegetables are full of energy and grant a variety of effects when used as items. They may prove useful when exploring the metaverse. Still, he was right. Final confidant. Yes. Desired. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Your feedback on the vegetables was a big help. Oh, if there are any vegetables you'd like in particular, just let me know. I certainly have plenty of seeds. So if you have a preference, I'll prioritize growing those first. That was our deal. Huh? Oh, that's right. <laughs> My, when you phrase it like that, it's oddly thrilling. All right, I'm going home for the day. Goodbye. See you later. Aw. Good day. Oh, Crispy Kun, hello. What are your thoughts on this flower bed? I brought it here in the hopes of doing some serious gardening. Yeah. Wow, she's so diligent. Once planted, the vegetables will be ready for harvesting in a few days. The, the flow of time is convoluted. The number of days needed for a vegetable to grow depends on its species. Let me know if you'd like me to grow any vegetables. So what should we do today? I'm here for the vegetables. Oh wait, yes, but this isn't gonna take time, right? It won't? Okay. <laughs> that makes me happy. These vegetables should grow nicely here. What do you think? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Whoa! 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 Wait! These are insane! These are insane vegetables! <sighs> My apologies. I'm quite busy taking care of the planters. It takes some time for someone as clumsy as myself. All right. Let's hang out with her. So you'll help me. Well, if you insist. Mm. Wow, Crispy Kun, you're quite skilled. The soil here would be so healthy if you were here more often. Honestly, I'm surprised that my gardening can be of use to our work as the Phantom Thieves. This started as just a hobby, so it's amazing to see it transform into a more practical skill. I feel like Haru should have been in this story earlier. Is it just me? I feel like it would have been way more interesting to have the gardening stuff there, but we can't have her as a confidant until much later. Pretty much everyone agrees with that. Like, like I get that we can't necessarily have all the confidants Im immediately, but maybe like not having her confidant be available early necessarily, but just have her be someone that we can interact with earlier. No, cameos don't count. Cameos don't count. I'm talking like conversations, interactions, Haru's lack of screen time is one of the biggest criticisms of the game. Oh shit. Okay, cool. Good to know. Beyond this, I've actually begun raising plants of my own at home. Coffee beans. Or coffee beans. <laughs> she said it was just a certainty. I feel like we could just go simple. You like coffee? Mm. Actually, I'm more of a tea person. Well, there we go. I always make sure to have at least 10 varieties on hand for my morning and afternoon tea. Okay, yeah, Haru, Haru is rich, yeah. Anyway, I recently discovered the joy in the taste and aroma of coffee. I used to think it was purely bitter, uh, but now I understand the depth of its flavor. To tell you the truth, I wasn't even able to drink it before. Ah, uh, pardon me, I was just thinking back on the past. Um, can I share with you again? Oh. As I mentioned before, I cannot bring myself to trust any of the employees at Okumura Foods. For as long as I can remember, the company has been run by my father. Being liked by him was always very important. Some employees would even come to ingratiate themselves to me. But since his passing, things have gotten unruly. Most evidently, people have started trying to use my influence as majority shareholder to oust other employees. They say they come to me out of respect, but I know they just really want to use me. I've heard so many rumors. Um. The worst ones are about Taka Takakura-san, the new president. They say he was thrilled to hear my father pass. Ah, well that's who we're gonna go into mementos for. There may be truth to that though. He's been with the company for years, but has only started being nice to me recently. He even offered to assist me with asset management. I fear he has an ulterior motive though. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. What do you mean? Well, um, he even went as far as to recommend I sell my shares the other day. He said I could make a fortune, but I realized that if I did so, he would be able to strike the Okumura name completely. Takakura-san must be scheming to take the company for himself. At least, it's possible. Mm-hmm. This is a complex issue. Indeed it is. None of the advice I've gotten so far has been helpful either. Everyone only speaks out of their own self-interest. Yes. Thank you for today, though. I feel a little better after talking about this with you. Oh, and don't worry. I'll make sure I keep myself motivated, even through these difficult times. I can sense Haru's trust in me. Aww. Cool. All right. All right. I'm going to stay here a little while longer to check the drainage. I need to make sure these vegetables turn out as good as possible for the Phantom Thieves. Goodbye. I'll see you later. Oh. Oh, sorry. I wanted to ask you something. It's not terribly important, but what vegetables do you tend to like most, Crispy Kun? I might as well grow things that everyone likes eating. Uh, this sounds really cool. Jewel melon. Hmm, I'm not sure I have seedlings for that. It sounds a little too big for a planter, too. But it might be worth growing. A melon just looks so gorgeous. Maybe I'll try growing some in my garden. Thanks for sharing your preferences. I'll try my best to grow them. I hope you'll be able to help to keep helping me. Good night for now. Cool. I'm here to see you, Lala, primarily, but Oya has a very interesting story that's starting to develop, so. Hmm. Keep this one going. Okumura Foods, that was unexpected, huh? And then your principal commits suicide? The public blames the Phantom Thieves for both incidents, but something doesn't add up. Maybe you're rubbing off on me. But I guess a journalist's gotta question everything. Hey, you have some info to share, right? Need some more info on the Phantom Thieves. You're pretty little butt down. All right. <laughs> I'm expecting a lot from you. So, okay, take a seat. <laughs> hey, it's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if it's not good enough. Hey, you sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You worry about me, Lala Chan? You're usually kind of. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen her th drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all. I'm totally not drunk. <laughs> Something bad happen? Oh, you're sharp, kid. Truth is, um, my quota got doubled. It's gonna take like four times as much work to get that much done though. They're shackling me down so I won't have time for anything else. Ugh, my chief's such a shithead. Whoa, must not like you. Yup, that bastard probably knows something's up. Damn it. Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rush of investigating Kaio's case, uncovering the dark secrets hidden away for a corrupt society. But now, it's gonna be impossible possible to run my investigation with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good. What am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lala Chan, if they fire me, can I marry you and live here? <laughs> like, please, say yes now. You have to say yes now. Come on, Lala. Lala, come on. That still won't help my investigation, though. The incident's over a year old, and the authorities aren't doing shit. <gasps> Maybe Kayo really was the true culprit. You should trust in her. That goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, who will? Watch your temper. <sighs> what am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kayo into politics. 
my fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing, mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, you can't blame yourself. Kyo Chan was just as set on exposing the evils of society as you were. Isn't that right? Shit. B but if I didn't get her involved in the first place. Damn it, that incident is my, all my fault. That's why I've got to get to the bottom of it. That's the spirit. Hell yeah. You know, it's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand me. Sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress must have gotten to me. It's just, all this quota business is driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to put all my focus on that for now. I'll still be counting on you for Phantom Thieves stories, though. As long as you're up to it. All right, I feel like Oya's really starting to rely on me. Okay, we need Oya points, though. All I definitely right. feel like we're a bit behind with that one. We got a lot of two stars, but not a lot of... Uh, I think I'm gonna have to ease off on my investigation for a while, too. I don't need any more eyes on me. But I might be able to ask some of my coworkers for help. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take any tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I get back to drinking, though. This whole conversation really sobered me up. It's getting late. See you later. Okay, we need big points for this one. Hey, kid, thanks for spilling on the Phantom Thieves earlier. If I'm being serious, I mean genuinely, actually serious, I really appreciate you. I'm only able to meet my insane quota because of the info you give me on the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. Glad to hear that might not actually be the right one because it correlates to her gratitude and us being there for her. But three is like the one that actually feels like we're, we're, we're in this with her as well. So I'm gonna go for three. Yeah, keep it coming. You're seriously dependable, kid. Hell yeah. But yeah, for now, guess I'll leave the intel gathering to my partner in crime. I gotta focus on meeting my quota. I'll never give up on my own investigation. Okay, let's call it a day. Looking forward to your next big scoop. Bam. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Soil is quite a mysterious thing. Within its gentle care, even a tiny seed can awaken, spread its roots, and grow up towards the sun. It's almost like a mother. Perhaps that aspect is why I find this place so comforting. To be honest... You know, I only started taking care of these planters because one of my teachers asked me to. I was hesitant at first, but I liked it so much that I kept them long past the original request. I started mixing my own fertilizer, adjusting soil ratios. Now I've raised these plants in complete secret. But, um, Crispy couldn't... I'm worried what the school might do if they found out about this. It'll be okay. I promise. <laughs> You're so dependable. In that case, we can be partners in crime. Honestly, Crispy Kun, I really enjoyed the time we spent together. It's so different from how I feel when I'm around him. Oh, sorry. I meant my fiancé. That reminds me, though, I wanted to ask your advice about him. Um... This whole arrangement began when my father first introduced us. Around the winter of my second year in high school. Uh... I was told we were just meeting his friend for dinner, but then he said that friend was to be my fiancé. It was surprising, but I suppose I had always known I would be someday married off for political gain. So, I accepted, and that was the start of our relationship. <gasps> oh, but, but, um, no relationship stuff happened, just to be clear. A anyway, I was never exactly fond of him to begin with, but now he has grown far worse. Recently, he's been suggesting we go on an early honeymoon together to celebrate our coming marriage. I can't even stand to look at him, though let alone spend any actual prolonged time together. Ugh. So, um, what can I say to decline his offer? I don't want to go with you. Ha ha ha! These two options here! Ha ha ha! Ha ha 
I, I have, I have enough points already. As that, that would be so funny. Just we should break up. Now let's just do this. Let's just do this. Yeah. All right. I suppose it would be best to simply be. I suppose it would be best to simply be clear about it. Um. As you know, my father passed away before he could fulfill his promise to rescind the marriage proposal. So, any conversation about putting a halt to the marriage will have to come from me. To tell the truth, I've already mentioned it to my fiance. Oh. But he refuses to listen to a single word I have to say. Apparently, he's been t even been telling the employees at Okamura Foods about the contract he made with my father. How the company would have to pay extreme reparations if it got called off for any reason. I just don't know how to handle this. I can postpone while I'm still in high school, but after that... Thinking about it now, it seems my father's death has turned out to be quite favorable for my fiance. After all, he's now engaged to the majority shareholder of a massive company. I suppose in the end, all he really cares about his is, is his own personal gain. But that's not what a relationship is supposed to be built on. It should be something more. Something like a love so intense that just seeing the other person makes your chest tighten up. I'm not so sure. Have, um... Have you ever experienced that? <laughs> well, um, too many times to count. Really? She liked that too? Wait, did the game lie and not put this as red? Wait, the game lied. All three of them gave max points. The game lied! All of them should have been red then! <laughs> Though I guess it makes sense for someone as handsome as you, Crispy Kun. But there's no spark like that with my fiance. Spending time with him is almost like some kind of training. Yes! Still, any hardship I go through now will surely help the Phantom Thieves eventually. I'll get through this. I can sense an earnest resolve from Haru. Hmm. All right, we got our follow-up. All right. Nice. Oh, it's getting late. I should probably get back to my gardening. Well, I think I'll be staying here a little while longer. Goodbye. See you later. Ah, sorry for the sudden call. Um, you remember we talked about my fiance. He won't stop asking me to spend the weekend with him. My excuse was that my friend was calling me, so here I am, away from him. Smart. <laughs> I've never done anything like that before. My heart was pounding. He's been getting more and more persistent. At this rate, I don't know how long I can play along. But hearing your voice calmed me down a bit. Thanks for listening to me. I'll let you go for now. See you later. Yep. Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. Ah, you're back. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Thanks to my quota and that shithead chief. But I made some progress on my personal investigation. I did some research on the Phantom Thieves. I'm starting to get the impression they might actually be the real deal. No signs of an internal power struggle. No dirty money changing hands. It almost seems like this... It almost seems like all this recent negative press was fabricated. There's no actual proof to support the claims. And I mean, you're still a fan, right? Honestly, the more I get to know about the Phantom Thieves, the better I understand them. I can relate to their sincerity. They remind me of how I used to be. I already know firsthand that fighting the evils of society is a never-ending, thankless job. But I still do it nonetheless. I bet the Phantom Thieves share that same type of passion. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear you talking about passion, Ichiko-san. Ichiko-chan. Maybe all this talk about the Phantom Thieves has influenced you. Or maybe it's just the kid. Maybe. I mean, he is a pretty big fan of theirs, so... Oh, the chief. Yes, this is Oya. That's right. What? You found Kayo? Where is she? What do you mean you can't tell me? Why the hell not? Hey, what's going on? Wait! Kayo. Yeah, could it be? That was one of my journalist friends. He thinks he found Kayo. He followed up on a pretty far-fetched string of rumors for me. 
But now he's saying he doesn't want to get involved. Damn it! Why the hell won't he tell me what's going on? I can't just give up now. At least that's progress. I mean, we still don't even know Kyle Chan was still alive before now, so... Stop right there. Ugh. Huh? I knew it. You've been looking into Kyle's case behind my back. Well, not anymore. I've cut off all your resources. I suggest you drop this investigation if you don't want to face the consequences. Wait, you're the one who pressured my contact to keep quiet? I told you, this is where your wild goose chase ends. Oh, and I'll be doubling your quota again. No more of this personal investigation. Got it? Huh? What? Are you trying to kill me? Hey now, Mr. Chief, can you really do that? I don't think anyone asked for your opinion, bitch. Oh! Oh, you do not! You do not throw a stray one at Lala-chan! We are going to throw hands now! Listen to me, Oya. Give it up. Unless you want to end up just like that stupid friend of yours. Don't talk about Kayo like that. Stop messing around. Don't you dare. If you even think about talking shit on Kayo again, I won't hesitate to beat the living crap out of you. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Take back everything you just said, or I'm going to do even worse. Oh, let's go! Let's JoJo's part five the shit out of this guy! Let's, let's get him on the ground and just kick the shit out of him. Like, let's go! Let's go! It's too late now. The higher-ups have decided to put that incident to rest, and that's what we're doing. You understand? That spineless little bastard only cares about himself. Shit. This had to happen just as I got a new lead on Kayo. What should I do? Should I go knock him out? Don't let him provoke you. Yeah. Hm. I know I'd be playing right into his hands if I'd let him get to me, but... God damn it! No, I need to stay calm. I can't give him any more reason to fire me. Just stay calm and think. Ah, this sucks! An even greater quota is gonna be a problem, but I can't give up now. I promise I won't stop fighting. I'll prove it to you with another great article. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves stealing hearts and changing lives. <sighs> Sorry, I really will try and calm down now. I can sense Oya's passionate devotion. Ooh. All right. All right. Rank seven. I'm so frustrated though. All that bullshit he said is really getting to me. I wish I was better at controlling my emotions like you are. You're charming as you are. Oh, huh? So, uh... Nobody said anything that sweet to me before. More importantly, Ichiko-chan, how are you gonna manage having your quota doubled? I'll just work twice as hard. I should be fine as long as I keep getting good info from my favorite source here. Give me some news. Oh, that reminds me. Let me hear all about today's scoop. Sup, kid. Thanks for bringing all that good info. You're really the only reason I'm still surviving through my crazy quota. And it honestly helped that you were there with me earlier. If you weren't there, I would have just gone full blast on the chief, and that would have been it. But I finally got a lead on Kayo. I'll do whatever it takes to find her. Hell yeah. Right, I'm not gonna let this crap get me down. I'm made of tough stuff. Watch me, chief shithead. You're gonna be crying at my feet. Okay, metaverse, uh, nav. Uh, type in chief shithead. Anything come up? Oh, something did. <laughs> still, I do have limits. Or still, I do have my limits. I gotta do something about this insane quota. Well, I'll come up with something. You just focus on getting me new info, okay? Okay, see you soon. Night. Hey. It's pretty bad that we haven't all met up at the hideout. Okay, let's get everyone together. What? What? Oh, Mako-chan. <gasps> Showtime! I didn't realize we'd take the same train. Haru. What a coincidence. I was just thinking of you. Oh, were you? Yep. How should I put this? Our battles from this point forward are only going to get tougher, right? So, I've been reflecting on our approaches to combat in the hopes of finding some new tactics. Okay. In the end, I came up with something. But I realized 
I'll need your help with it. Cool. Me? Sure. If I can be of any help, I'd love to work with you on this. I appreciate it. So, what I'm thinking is... Mako-chan? <laughs> now that I think about it, this is probably going to sound rather absurd. It's a showtime. It should sound Don't absurd. Worry. If it's your idea, Mako-chan, I'm sure it'll be great. I'm glad to hear you say that. Well, ready to hear it? Huh? <laughs> so, any thoughts? What a great idea! I'd be honored to help. Oh, thank you. Well, I hope it works out. Mm-hmm. Just leave it to me. Aw. But wow, Mako-chan, you come up with some pretty bold moves sometimes. I mean, Mako... Makoto's uh, showtimes have been pretty good thus far. I really look up to you for that. Do you? I'm not sure how that makes me feel, but <laughs> thank you. The star will grant us our wish if it's based Oh, that's true. She's only had win. one, yeah. I'm positive. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is the location you've been using as a hideout. We just get started. Mm -hmm. Forced investigation will take place on November 20th. That's our deadline this time. Is there any possibility of that investigation being moved to an earlier date? No, that would be bullshit of this game to do that. I highly doubt it. How can you be so sure? Didn't they want to catch us as soon as they possibly could? They may be corrupt, but they are still a bureaucracy. Certain steps must be taken in order to continue forward. Mm. Unless their situation becomes extremely dire, they won't act with only circumstantial evidence. I'm impressed, Detective Man. You sure know a lot about internal affairs. Yes, he is quite promising. Well, this is a purely give-and-take relationship. Mm -hmm. You taught me the inner workings of the Phantom Thieves, so it's only fair I return the favor. And I will be sure to contact everyone if the investigation team makes any odd movements. That would be helpful. Okay. All right. Makoto and Haru's showtime has been unlocked. 